So hi there. This time we will see how can we implement a custom image view inside of the list view. So here we have an example of that list view containing the images and also text. So as you can see we have a list of Galaxy phones right here. Okay, so in my project I have implemented a list view inside my main relative layout and I have initialized two arrays, a string array of phones and int array of my drawable images. And now let's create a new instance of list view, so private list view list view and let's reference it on the on create method so list view equals list view find view by id r dot id dot list view list view dot uh, set adapter now uh, because we are making a custom image we are going to create a new custom adapter so just type new image adapter and uh, we need to pass our context so we will just type get application context or you can use just keyword this okay let's create a new private class image adapter it needs to extend the object called base adapter okay next control plus o on keyboard to implement necessary methods now create a constructor for this base adapter and because we are passing our context we will need to make a parameter so type it in also we need some variables first we need our context then because we are putting images we need the image view so image view private image view image view and also we will put text so we will type private text view text view another thing is that we need to have a layout inflator in order to create a new custom layout and call it in our base adapter so let's just fix our constructor so our context equals to our parametered context and our layout inflate uh, equals casting layout inflate uh, our context dot get system service and a service is called layout inflate service so next in our method count, get count we need to pass how many rows will our list view have so to do that we will just take our arrays length and return it so we will type return phone names dot length next for our get item and get item id methods we want to return a variable position so that we know with which row we are dealing with now let's create layout for each row so let's type view group and let's call it one row equals casting view group layout inflate dot inflate r dot layout and now we need to create a new layout for this for the row so go head over to the layout folder and let's create a new layout with the root of relative layout okay and here we want to insert an image view because we want to show images and also we will insert the text view right next to the image view so as you can see in the code it is properly formatted now go back to our activity type in your new created ID and for the second parameter 
choose null value because it uh, represents a parent but we uh, don't have a parent so just type null next let's reference our two views so image view equals casting image view one row dot find view by id r dot id dot image view and for our text view text view equals text view again one row dot find view by id r dot id dot text view after this we need to apply the image on our image view remember that we have an array of our drawables we can access them by using variable position as an index for our array because position goes from 0 to end as well as the array so let's type phone images with an index of position and same applies for the text view so type text view dot set text and instead of phone images we are using a string array so phone names with an index of position now all we need to do is to return our one row view group so just type return one row and let's see the emulator now as you can see it is properly initialized image view with the text view in each row Thank you for watching this video, see you next time, goodbye.